the new 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro from Apple. Starts at $19.99 with the lowest configurations that I'll be using here. Today we're doing a battery test and some impressions. This time I'm mixing in some vlogging so you're experiencing it with me over the months. Keeping it as natural as possible to how I personally use my MacBook with varying times, duration, and workloads, and includes MagSafe and Thunderbolt charging tests. Give this a like if it helps, and subscribe for more. First, quick update on the impressions. Performance is good as expected, but I have mixed feelings on the design. Build is quality as usual. Love the straighter edges, but not how bulky it looks. It does make way for more much needed ports, but makes it look like an older MacBook. The XDR screen is mini LED and is just stunning. I can finally edit HDR content straight out of the computer. Heavier than the 2020 MacBook Pro, but still usable to carry around even in bags. I'll miss the touch bar and will have to make time to learn more short keys instead. Because it's still such a familiar design, no one can tell it's a newer MacBook unless I tell them. Good morning. It is now 8.18 and I'm about to unplug the power. I'm using my dock to power it. Here we go. And it has an HDMI port, so great. This is my SSD. It's not power. Samsung T7, I love it. But yeah, I'm just editing video here, and then I'll be out for a doctor's appointment pretty soon. Usually my Thunderbolt 4 dock powers it up. I'm honestly not gonna use a MagSafe cable that often because I have this dock that powers the MacBook Pro anyway, and I mean, any of these Thunderbolt 4 ports will power the computer already. So I might as well use my dock. Um, so it's cleaner, I can put this HDMI underneath and have just a cleaner space instead of Frankenstein. So I'll be editing right now, then going to the doctor's office. But until then, we'll still have YouTube in the background to drain that battery. We want to see how much the battery drains the first day. We do expect the first day to be more draining than usual because it's compiling in the background. So basically your computer's adjusting. The first day is always just more drain, more battery drain than the rest. and. I'll show you the difference throughout the week. Uh, so it's now 8.40 and we're still at 100%. What I'm doing is just exporting this 1080p 60 frames per second file. We'll use Activity Monitor to see how much memory pressure it's using and how much, just what it's doing. Okay. Also how long it takes to render a 1080p 7 minute video, 60 frames per second. It honestly shouldn't take much, but let's see if we have any surprises. 16 gigabytes of RAM, no swapping used at all. There it is, it's done. It is now 10.24 a.m. Let's see, I'm at 70%. I don't know if I like that. Um, I've been editing, but you know what? This is just the first day, so there will be a lot of drain. I'm kind of afraid to be out for hours. I'm just playing my video here um, using a second monitor. Again, I'm not plugged into any power. Um, there it is, 70%. It's gonna be at 50% brightness. Made it, Doc. You guys check out this view. Looks like we got to 7% by 4 p.m. and it lasted eight hours using Safari for 5.5 hours and editing plus regular tasks for 2.5 hours. It's the first day, so it drained pretty fast. Still doing its own thing in the background. Give it a few days and it should drain normally. Still have to recognize how this battery is still way better than how MacBook Pros used to be before M1. Okay, I'm ending today at 10.56 p.m. at 46%. 
Let's see what I did here. I've just been watching videos on YouTube, using the Notes app, and web browsing. So now 45%. What's funny is I've been running my videos on the M1 MacBook Pro from last year, and it's at 56%. And they started around the same time. So far battery on M1 2020 wins, but this is just the second day. So last time I checked in with you guys, it was at 45% and now we're at 34% just sitting a couple days on sleep mode. All right, I did a little bit of notes, um, a little bit of FaceTiming. I am now at 23%, 6.13 p.m. It definitely already feels like less battery than the M1 13 inch. I mean, I do notice that I'm more of a stationary Mac guy. Like I just keep my laptop plugged in and when it's convenient, I bring it to places and that's when it becomes worth it as a laptop. So, I don't know, I don't know. I do miss the touch bar on this thing. Just been playing my video on YouTube for a few hours. So far, we're at 68%. It's a little after midnight, 12, 11 a.m. I'm gonna go home. All right, just did a Zoom call. And wow, it was a great meeting, but um, it's 3.13 p.m. and I'm at 26%. I'm gonna start plugging it in because it's a little too close for comfort for me at the moment with things that I have to do. So I'm gonna plug in, um, continue later. I will update you. I charge it with my dock, which is 90 watts um, and it's 5.06 p.m. All right, working late today, it's 10.38 p.m. We are at 56%. Good morning, guys. I am disconnecting power. It is 8.22 a.m. I'm disconnecting power now. Monday the 15th. Let's see how long, how long will last for today. I'll be using it until 3 p.m. Then picking up at 9 to 10 p.m. This is, we gotta go somewhere, but we'll see what happens. It's not the season with notes. It shouldn't be taking that much battery, but still, this is how I'm starting to go. Emails, normal things, notes, messages. All right, let's see what happens. 8.36 a.m., still at 100%. All right, it's 9.33 a.m. and we are at 95%. I'm heading out for an errand, so I will see you guys in an hour or so. And it's 10.59 a.m. We are now at 85% Apple TV Plus while reading on Final Cut Pro. Wait, it's 1.13 p.m. I'm now at 73%. I was doing notes and editing. Doing that and one 90 minute Zoom call by 5.22, I ended at 10%. Eight minutes later at 5.30, I was at 6%, so I had to plug it in. So last night I left it unplugged while asleep and it went down 4%. So starting the day at 8.51 a.m., we are at 95%. Okay guys, it's 9.14 a.m. and we are at 91%. I've just been on these apps here. Most of them are in the background and I just left them on, but I've mainly been using Notes and Safari. 
hours later, totaling in 5.5 hours of work, I took a break. So this was asleep for about six to six and a half hours and it is now 8.47. We are at 76%. So with half the day on sleep mode, I still had 76% left to use. Stepped out for dinner, just came back, finished up on writing. It's now 12.36 and I'm at 69%. Gonna plug it back in. This day tells us that light tasks don't use up that much battery life. Today only took 31%. Looks like by this day, I realized that I left the charger unplugged. And one pro is dead. I just had it sleeping all night and yeah. Let's see, see here, not turning on, not turning on. All right, 326, we're not plugging it in. So this was asleep for about six to six and a half hours. We'll keep it asleep and see how long it charges, how long it takes to charge. So it looks like it took about two hours to charge, around 510. Tip, according to Apple, you can fast charge using up to their 140 watt adapter with MagSafe, which means you can go from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. So today started at night. It looks like in an hour and a half, it went down to 87% from 100. Compared to my M1 MacBook Pro, I don't think I like that. And to add to that, I didn't really do much. I just, I was just on Facebook, really, watching videos. I'm hardly ever on Facebook, but my group is on Facebook. It went down 13% in just an hour and a half. Hardly did anything. All right, at that time, I was kind of bummed, but thinking of computers before M1 with this much power, it's actually pretty good. Guys, I just unplugged the battery. We're starting at 8 a.m. See what I have open YouTube. These are the apps I have open. As you can see, we're at 100%. I started at 8 a.m. Let's go. I'll be playing some YouTube videos for a little bit and then go from there. Brightness will be second to last. I'm just leaving it playing my channel, letting it play commercials and some of the contents HDR, some of it's 4K and most of it's HD 1080p. Hey guys, so far I've been using the Safari browser with uh, YouTube in the background and we are now, it's 9.16 AM and we are at 91%. That means in an hour or 15 minutes it dropped 9%. Looks like that was better than my last short usage. Then after hours of editing, I drained the battery to 1% so I could do another charge test while in use. So as you guys see, I'm using the 67 watt MagSafe charger from Apple. I came with it. 3 p.m. now we're plugging in. Let's see how long it takes to charge while in use. All right. I've reached 50% and it's now 4.43 p.m. Well, now 51%, but notice it guesses how long it will take to fully charge. So it's guessing an hour 30 from 4.43 p.m. So let's see if that is pretty accurate. All right, 91%, 5.24 p.m. It says 32 minutes until fully charged. Almost there, 98%, 5.40 p.m. This means we're at an hour and 40 minutes so far. Well, almost an hour and 40 minutes. 99% is 5.40 p.m. It just went up, I just saw it go up. Yeah, an hour 40 minutes. And I'm, again, I'm using the, the MagSafe charger. Open sesame. Now 
now starting at 6.26 p.m. 100%. I'm unplugging it and see how long it lasts while I edit video on Final Cut Pro on top of going on the web, Safari, uh, notes and all that. Let's see. Editing video and just gave me that warning and it's 11.45 p.m. So now we're at 10%. I've just been online and editing as well, attached to one monitor. So this is where it's too close to comfort. So I'm gonna go and plug it in. Fast forward to February 12, 2022. The battery doesn't last as long as the M1 MacBook Pro from 2020, but this M1 Pro can still last a whole day. If you're just doing simple tasks, you can do longer, around 12 hours on a very full day. Today I've actually been editing this video. We are averaging at 12 hour use, um, the most being at 14 hours for me. I just use this guy mainly for editing and my older one for regular tasks. In conclusion, the battery is not as long as it lasts on the M1 13 inch from 2020. But you still have to recognize that this battery is still way better than how MacBook Pros used to be before M1. I hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. This season will be cranking fresh new content starting spring with so many Apple products rumored to be released throughout the year. So thanks for your support and thanks for watching.